What's up guys, I'm Nomadic. Today in this video, I wanna give you a quick boost of inspiration. I wanna show you a really cool way where you can find samples that have drum breaks in them to add a little bit more emphasis, give you a little bit more of a creative boost when it comes to drum breaks and getting that sound that you're looking for. So in this video, I'm gonna show you two really cool ways that you can do this. One which is easier, the second one which is a little bit more complicated, takes a little bit longer, but is the more creative way that I actually prefer to do it myself. So without further ado, let's get down to business. I'm gonna show you this really cool method that I have. Okay, so this entire tutorial revolves around this website called discogs.com, which is basically a website that has compilations of every single published piece of music out there on the internet so you can listen to all of it and you can see what's out there. So this is the easy method for now. So for the easy method, what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna go through and we're gonna pull up records that have already been released by artists, DJs, and whatnot. Um, so the, the best way to find these catalogs of records is on discogs.com. You're going to click explore, explore all, by the way, I have a full tutorial on this already. If you want to check it out, it's already linked in the description, explore, explore all. You're going to go down to the style. You're going to scroll all the way down until you find a category. It's called DJ battle tool. So this is basically a collection of records that was put together by DJs, producers, who already found break beats, drum breaks from records, and they put it all together in a compilation album. So you can actually listen to what these sound like. So for instance, I've never heard this one before, break beats one, I have no idea what this is. You could just click it, and usually you're gonna have a video associated with it on Discogs. In this, in this case, there's no video here, so you can look it up, you can you know purchase it if you want. Whatever, whatever works for you. If you wanna find records that are actually listenable on this site, directly if you sort it by most collected you'd be able to hear one of the more popular records so for instance dj qbert he's a famous scratch dj you can just flip through this and listen to it just flipping through it like there you go there's a breakbeat right there i would probably layer that with some drums but i think that sounds pretty good Let's see what else we can find. Um, Simon Harris, I've never heard this one before. Hear what this sounds like. Okay. This is a pretty popular drum break. Dance floor drums, Southern style and fashion. DJ Shadow, gag ball breaks. Hmm. Same deal, they sound pretty good. Personally, I'd probably layer them up, make them sound fatter, but that's just me. DJ Babu. Okay, this is created by DJ Babu. Legend. What? Get by this pony. Okay, yeah, this is great. This is a great break. This sounds this sounds so good. That sounds that sounds so good. I would totally use that. I wouldn't I wouldn't do anything to that. That sounds great. So anyways, that's the quick method to get drum breaks just thrown into your beats. So anyway, that's the first method. This one is a lot faster to do. If you like any of these, of course, you should you should buy them just so you have them. Uh, props to the people who made them. Anyways, the second method, this one is a little bit more uh, customized, a little bit more special. So another way that you can browse through records on Discogs is through the list feature. And I'm gonna show you exactly how that works. So if you click on explore and then you go to list explorer, basically this is almost like playlists that people who have accounts on Discogs created, meaning that they actually went through and they added their own favorite records into their own list that people created themselves. So what you can do is you can actually search everybody's lists on the database and you can find records that people have already kind of done a search on already. So like for instance, we're looking for drum breaks. So on the search list, I'm just going to search drum break. And then right here you get, you have, you have a bunch of playlists like drum breaks, original drum break libraries, the definitive drum database, drum breaks, percussion breaks, and drum solos, expensive drum breaks, drum breaks. Let's just, let's see what this is. And then if you go through here, this is actually a bunch of records that this person compiled in this list and they actually heard things that they thought would make for good drum breaks and they just compiled it right here. So if, if you hit play, you can actually listen to it. Okay. Okay. I like that, I like that. Okay, that works. 
Oh, right there. That's perfect. That's perfect. I would totally make a beat with that. In fact, I might just do it. <laughs> That's so good. I would totally, I would totally use that. But yeah, you, you get the point. The Discogs list feature is really powerful. People have already kind of compiled their own list of stuff and it sounds good. So in a nutshell, that's how I like to find drums that just sound different using the online crate digging methods. Now, this is only the beginning. Usually if I find a drum break that I like, I throw it in Ableton and I chop it. If you wanna learn how you can actually take drum breaks and chop it in Ableton, check out this video right here. You'll be able to learn exactly how I do it on every single beat that I make. So check that one out. And if you have any questions, anything you wanna see, any type of videos you want, you wanna hear me making in the future, also please leave a comment down below and I'd be happy to see that. See you later.